I'm just looking for music. This is a uh, welcome to my studio. This is an artist vlog. Uh, I always liked uh, I always liked looking at other people's studios in books, you know, and before the internet, <laughs> books mostly really. And then occasionally you get to see other people's studios, and I really liked other people's studios. So I'm gonna be locked down for a while, um, probably forever. I don't know. So I decided to do a vlog based on the way I work, my studio, what I do as an artist. And uh, there you go, that's what I'm gonna do. So today is vlog one. And this is the Starship Enterprise chair. Everything happens in this chair. I do a lot of, uh, do a lot of sitting down in that chair. And uh, welcome, there you go, welcome to my studio. This is a type of a light blue. It takes about half an hour to mix it. Big lump of oil paint, white, a big lump. Big lump of white oil paint, a tiny lump of blue, probably, I can't think of the name of it, but it's a blue, it could be an ultramarine blue, but I prefer the other one, uh, cerulean, cerulean blue with white, but just a dab. So really what I want is, I want the blue of a beautiful summer sky, but not really that blue either, and then a bit more white in it. So I've been mixing it for about half an hour to get the consistency of uh, creamy milk has to be right, there can't be any lumps. Like making uh, a white sauce. <laughs> so the thing about this painting is, I started this painting a few months ago, and you know, Christmas being what it was, went to see kind of friends and family, and that's brilliant, but I've been thinking of this blue while I'm away, and now I'm back painting, and I really need to paint. <laughs> I know I need to paint. Love painting, so what happened with this, Picture was a lot. Of, it's upside down. No, it should be the other way, but it's upside down. But there are a lot of things in it that I, I kind of liked. But the more I worked on it, the dirtier it got. Like so, you can see. Sometimes I like that kind of dirty element. I like it. But here, I just feel like I want to flip it around. So really, what I want to do is I want to turn the sky upside down. Because I'm gonna put the blue on here and let it kind of cover these kind of tainted areas and just slowly let it drip. That's why I have to get the consistency right. The thicker the paint, the slower it drips, the thinner the paint, faster it drips. And I, I don't want a fast drip on this. I don't want a see-through drip or a see-through color. I want a kind of a slow. And I like the idea that when it goes the right way up, the sky will be on the ground and the paint will be on the top. There's something kind of cute about that. So I'm gonna give it a go. I'm thinking about this for about two weeks. Here we go, I'll give it a lash, pile it on. And the thing about this oil paint is um, it can be your best friend or it can be something else. Oops, I don't want to be falling off. So, there you go. Oh. this very kind of defined um, difference between this blue being very consistent and then all these other colors being kind of tainted and all. So it adds a new tone to the paint. shapes here in this piece it's upside down from where you are but they're very soft and blue and I put in some blue on these little canvases here that I'm beginning to paint on really and I think cute things happen when you're not expecting them to happen really that's it Put this blue on the other day, and I like it. No, I like I like that blue. So I realise now what I have to do is 
I have to do some kind of detailed fine things, you know, kind of detailed. And in order to do that, I can't do them on this yet. So I'm gonna go and collect some uh, silk screen prints that I made. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna use some um, uh, acrylics or watercolors and just figure out some fine detailed kind of drawings or, or objects or things, I don't know, I have an idea anyway. And if it works out really well on paper, I'll transfer it onto this because I'm really liking this now and I think it has something to do with this. This is a, a painting by a guy called uh, Yo Akam Patinar and it's in the Madrid, the Prado and it's just like some bizarre landscape based on, it's in German but a landscape based on St. Christopher's Adventures or whatever but it's insane landscape and I really really like this and I like how I found it and everything but it's been in my head for once so I think this painting in a way is going to be like this it's like an abstract version of that it's like uh, an adventure an adventure land. So, but I really want to take some of his, uh, I want to take some things and make them really fine in oil paint and add them to this now. But I'm not ready for that. I have to do it in uh, watercolor or acrylic first.